Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to print half pyramid using the star. So first let me discuss what is meant by half pyramid. The half pyramid, if I want to display in four rows, then in the first row, I need to display one star. In the second row, I need to print two stars. In the third row, I need to print three stars. In the fourth row, I need to print four stars. If it is going for the fifth row, in the fifth row, I need to print five stars. Okay, so this is what we can call it as off pyramid using the star. Now, if you clearly observe, what way I need to do? I need to print the star multiple times. So I need to use the iterations or the loops. So the best way is that we can do this task using the for loop. Now if you observe one more thing. In the first row, I need to print one star. In second row, I need to print two stars. So what I need to do, I need to traverse each row. And in each row, I need to print various columns. So what I need to do is that I need to use the nested loops concept. Am I right? So first what I will do is that I will ask the user how many rows you want to print. So what I will do is that I will take a variable called row and I will ask the user to enter. So I will use the input method and here I will write enter the number of rows. Okay, and you know that input method will return everything in the form of string, but I want to convert into an integer. So I need to do the type casting. So whatever the user has entered the value, that value will be stored in an integer form in the variable called row. Now I will write the outer for loop. So for i in a range. Okay, and then I will take a row here. And then I will write for j in range i plus 1. And then I will print the star. Okay. I need to print the star. So I need to use the print method. And after printing, I need to give it some space. And then I need to write here print. Now I have completed writing the program. Now let me discuss what will be the output. First let me run the program for you. Okay. Then I will trace the program. Let me run and see what will happen. If I enter the number of rows as 4. Now you can see whatever I have expected we got the output. If you clearly observe in the first row I got 1 star. In second row, I got two stars. In third row, I got three stars. In fourth row, I got four stars. Now, let me change the number of rows. Let me enter five rows. You can see we got five rows. Row one, two, three, four, five. In each row, you can find the number of stars. In the row number one, one star. Row number two, two stars. Row number three, three stars. Row number four, four stars. Row number five, five stars are there. Okay, now let me change the input. Number of rows is 3. You can see 3 rows have printed and it is printed in the half pyramid. Now let me trace the program how we got this output. As the user has entered the row value is equal to 3. So in the variable called row, you will have the value called 3. And you know that the range method will have three parameters one is the start another one is the stop and next one is the step but you can ask me sir you have considered only one value then it will be the stop value the default values for the start and step is 0 and 1 respectively if you observe clearly the user or i did not provide the start value so the default start value will be 0 and the step value will be 1 and the stop value will be the row. How many or what is the value is there in the variable called row? 3 is there. So stop will be 3 and step will be equal to 1. Okay. Now look at here. This is what? This is an outer for loop. Let me write here outer for loop. Okay. 
now in the outer for loop these are the statements are there can you observe clearly these are the statements are there so you can see the indentation i have started from here and ended so these are the statements belongs to the outer for loop and now you can see there is an inner for loop okay and here also i have provided the only stop which is i plus 1 so your start value will be 0 and the stop value will be based on i value okay that we will look at and the step value will be equal to 1 okay now if the outer for loop condition is true and the inner for loop condition is also true then star will be printed now let me trace it look at what is the i value what value i will get initially the i will get the initial value as start value what is the start value zero so i will get the value as zero then if you observe clearly we need to stop up to the three but it will start from zero then go one then two it will stop up to the two so this loop this outer for loop will run for three times what it is when the i value is zero when the i value is one and the i value is two so how we can verify it should be i le should be less than three it is nothing but i should be less than the stop value what is the i value currently zero zero is less than three yes the condition is true so then the statements which are there in the outer loop can be executed let me repeat again for you i value will be the start value initially and i should be less than the stop value what is the stop value here three what is the i value zero so zero is less than three so the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the for loop will be executed once now immediately you can see there is an inner loop what is the start value the start value is a zero what is the stop value i plus one what is the i value stop value is i plus one what is the i value zero so zero plus one will be one so stop value is currently one and step value is also one so what is the j initial value you will get j will get the initial value as zero because the start value is zero then it will verify the condition j should be less than stop okay what is the j value j value is currently zero what is the stop value one so zero is less than one so the condition is true if the inner loop condition is also true the statements which are there in the inner for loop will be executed what is the statement is there star so it will print the star and you can see by default after printing it will go for the new line but i have written end is equal to space so what will happen here is that after printing the star it will give a space okay after printing star it will give a space is it clear so the first row star has been printed successfully till now now we will see what will happen once the statements which are there in the inner for loop has been executed then control will go to the iteration what is the iteration you need to increment the j value by one because step is equal to one so j is equal to j plus step j value is how much zero what is the step value one so zero plus one will be one now j value is currently one so j value is one what is the stop value one one is less than one no one is equal to one so the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the inner for loop will not be executed the next statement print you are not printing anything so what will happen it will go to the new line if there is something in the print it will print that one and go to the new line as there is nothing it will not print anything and it will go to the new line so after printing one star you went to the new line is it clear because we want that one only now after executing this statement what will happen the statements which are there in the outer for loop has been executed then control will go to the iteration of the outer loop okay so currently i value is zero the step value is one so i value need to be incremented by one so i will become one then you need to verify i should be less than stop am i right 
So what is the I value? I value is 1. What is the stock value? 3. So 1 is less than 3. So the condition is true. If the condition is true, again the statements which are there in the outer for loop need to be executed again. Then what it will happen? For J in range I plus 1. Again, J value will become 0 because start value is 0. Now, stop value will be I plus 1. What is the I value? 1. 1 plus 1. Stop value will become 2. And step value will be 1. Because we did not provide the start and step, the default values as 0 and 1 will be considered. Now, J value will start from 0 because start is 0. J less than stop. What is the J value? 0. What is the step value? 1. What is the stop value? 2. So, 0 less than 2. The condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the inner for loop will be executed. So, print star. So, after going to the new line, let's assume that this is the new line. A star will be printed and then it will give a space. Okay, so this star we have successfully printed. Then after executing all the statements which are there in the inner for loop, where the control will go? The control will go to the iteration of the inner for loop. So J value is currently 0, step value is 1. So you need to increment by 1. So J value will become 1. So J value is 1, stop value is 2, so 1 less than 2, again the condition is true. If the condition is true, again this print will be executed. So after giving space, you need to print another star and give a space. Okay, so the two stars has been printed in the second row. Then where the control will go? The control will go to the iteration. J value is currently 1 and step value is equal to 1, so J value will become 2 and j less than stop. Okay, what is the j value 2? 2 is less than 2? No, the condition is false. If the condition is false, the statements which are there in the inner for loop will not be executed. Then the next statement which is there in the outer for loop will be print. So it will not print anything and it will go to the new line. So after printing two stars, you are going to the new line. That is what we want. Okay, then where the control will go? The control will go to the iteration of the outer loop. Currently, i value is 1, step value is 1, so i value will become 2. i less than stop. What is the i value? 2. What is the stop value? 3. 2 should be less than 3. Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, again the statements which are there in the outer loop will be executed once again. So look at here. Immediately we have a, a loop. So for j in range i plus 1. So start value will be 0. Stop value will be i plus 1. What is the i value here? 2. 2 plus 1 will be 3. And the step value is 1. So j will get the value as 0 because start value is 0. j should be less than stop. What is the j value? 0. What is the stop value? 3. Okay, so 0 is less than 3. So the condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the inner for loop will be executed. So print star. So in the next line, star will be printed. So this is the star has been printed. And end is equal to space. So after printing the star, it will give a space for you. Once executed all the statements which are there in the inner for loop, the control will go to the iteration, which is i plus 1. Okay, iteration is i plus 1. No, what is that? i plus 1 is the stop. Now, how you will check the iteration? j value is 0 and the step value is 1. So, which is nothing but j is equal to j plus step. What is the j value currently? 0. What is the step value? 1. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. That 1 will be assigned to the variable called j. j should be less than stop. What is the j value? 1. What is the stop value? 3. 1 is less than 3. Is the condition is true or false? Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, again you will print the star. Okay, star has been printed and space will be given. And then again it will go for the iteration. J value is currently 1 and step value is 1. So J value will become 2. So as J value is become 2 and stop value is 3, the condition is again true. 
okay if the condition is true again it will print the star another star has been printed so we need to print three stars we have successfully printed okay then what will happen again the j value will become 3 because j value is currently 2 2 plus step which is 3 that will be assigned to the variable called j now j should be less than stop what is the j value 3 what is the stop value 3 is 3 is less than 3 no 3 is equal to 3 so the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the inner loop will not be executed and the next statement which is there the outer loop which is print will be executed so after printing three stars it will go to the new line then after executing all the statements which are there in the outer loop where the control will go the control will go to the iteration of the outer loop okay so currently i value is 2 step value is 1 so i value will become 3 now i should be less than stop what is the i value 3 3 is less than 3? No, 3 is equal to 3. So, the condition is false. So, if the outer loop condition itself is false, the statements which are there in the outer loop will not be executed. After the outer loop, there is no more statements. So, the program execution will stop. So, that's why you are getting the output as in the first row star, in second row two stars, in the third row three stars. I hope you have understood how to write a Python program to print half pyramid using the star. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.